Hey, what's going on you guys? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to give you the cure to happiness and how to become happier in life. Some of you might be watching this and thinking to yourself, there is no possible way that I can be happy all the dang time. Well, to me, it's a little bit more than just how do I become happier. In order to understand our happiness, we have to understand the way that we think. Once we understand this, we'll be able to understand the root of our happiness. There are three ways that we react to everything around us. One of the ways being wanting. The wantingness to achieve a specific thing or gain a specific specific material item. A wantingness of achieving something outside of ourselves and then we'll be happy. Social media does an extraordinary job of allowing us to feel not good enough. In order to be happy, we got to get the new iPhone X37. We got to get the new car. We got to achieve and get that promotion at work. We got to drive that specific car. If you look back at all the things that you bought thinking that they would make you happy or the promotion or job that you got. Money doesn't buy happiness. It buys crazy ass happiness. <laughs> thinking that it would make you happy, it did make you feel happiness for a short period of time. But then soon thereafter, you went back on the hunt seeking for external things to make you happy. Hunting to achieve the thing. Hunting like a heroin addict looking for his next hit. Or hunting like me looking for that last piece of pizza that I left in the fridge three days ago. As soon as you achieve the thing, you experience happiness for a short period of time, and then you go back to your baseline of what you thought happiness was. So it's safe to say that happiness doesn't lie in the wanting category. The second way that we react is rejecting. From the moment that we wake up, we start rejecting the things in the world around us. Ugh, I'm cold. I just want to stay in bed. Ugh. I'm tired. We reject other people too. Ugh, this person is so slow. Ugh, why can't this person just do their job? And we reject ourselves. Ugh, why am I hungry again? Ugh, I did it again. Ugh, I'm such a loser. It's safe to say that there isn't much happiness in rejecting either. The third way we react is by zoning out. When confronted with a task that is boring, like driving to work, walking, taking a shower, sitting at the doctor's office, we tend to zone out. Then what happens is we get lost in the past and maybe we might get lost in the thoughts of the future. Things that haven't even happened yet. Definitely these are not fun places to be at. All of these reactions account for 99% of the way an average person thinks on a daily basis. No wonder why these mother are so unhappy. So you're watching this and saying to yourself, how do I become more happy? 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 Well, there's a fourth way that we react in life. Now, this is something as a society we don't often practice or experience. It's the feeling that you first got when you saw the Grand Canyon. It's that feeling that the astronauts described the world when they saw it for the first time in outer space. It's the first time that you saw your child being born. It's that time that you spent hours and hours looking at bugs and insects and inspecting their every crevice and dot and how they move and react in this world. This, my friends, is called mindfulness. You really want to look at mindfulness as the opposite of zoning out. It's more like zoning in. You get it? No? You didn't get it? <laughs> you just simply become hyper aware of the world around you how it feels, how it moves, its features. It's here in the present moment. There is no rejecting, there is no wanting. All of you is just incredibly focused on the present moment. When you're incredibly present in the moment, happiness follows and it stays. And the only way to become more mindful in your day to day is through the practice of meditation. Whoa, and I know some of you are thinking, yeah, 
this hocus pocus bull Yeah, I heard about meditation. It makes no goddamn sense to me. How am I supposed to sit on my ass for 20, 30 minutes and not do goddamn thing? Come on, I gotta do something. You can literally just sit on your butt for 20, 30 minutes and do nothing. I can't do that. But there's literally hundreds of studies backing up the benefits of meditation. I don't care, man. So if you've been looking for the life old question, how do you get more happier? Look no further. Stop looking for shortcuts because I can guarantee you that the answer lies in meditation and mindfulness. The practice of being present. In the description below, I will place one of my favorite favorite mindfulness books about being present. This book is called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Absolutely amazing read. I prefer to catch this book on audio because the textile version was a little dry for me. Also in the description below, I will place some of my favorite mindfulness apps. One of which being Headspace. This is a paid app. There's no affiliation here, guys. It's just an amazing app. I like it that much. It has an abundance of meditations and it also has some sleep sounds. The other app that I would highly recommend is a free app. It is called Insight Timer. They have guided and unguided meditations to help you with your daily practice. Lastly is an app called Brainwave. This is also a free app. This is an absolutely great app. It has frequencies and brainwaves like binaural beats or binaural sounds to tone to specific frequencies to help you align and be more mindful during your meditation practice and on the day to day. This app just helps me reach those theta and delta brainwave states a lot sooner. Sometimes I listen to this before I go to bed, but mostly it's in the morning during my meditation and journal practice. So there you have it guys, the cure to happiness, how to become more happier in your life. Guys, if you enjoyed this message, go ahead and click that like button down below. And I would love to hear how meditation has absolutely changed my life. And if meditation has changed your life or enhanced your presence, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. If somebody is struggling to be happy, or if you want to refer this information to somebody, please go ahead and share it with them. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure that your notifications are turned on. And if you head over to TysonDelacruz.com and sign up for my newsletter, I release exclusive content only found via email. Guys, I hope you have a phenomenal day. Be kind. Rewind. Peace.